Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. Today I'm going to show you how we can use the internal interrupts and timer of PIC 18F microcontrollers. You can use any PIC 18F series microcontroller. You can use any that you have. Uh, but I am using a 40 pin PIC 18F4602 620 microcontroller. Uh, in this microcontroller, pin B0 is a timer and interrupt pin as well. It supports the timer 0 this one uh, to demonstrate to you how this works I'm gonna use four LEDs I will connect B0 pin that is the interrupt pin with the LED 0 B1 with the LED 1 B2 with the LED 2 B3 with the LED 3 when and we will also be having a button this button will be connected to pin D2 of the port D here normally without any timer interrupt our code will work like this LED 1 blinks then it turns off the other one blinks then turns off then third one and it keeps on repeating but in case we press the button in case the button is pressed then the timer then the LED 0 blinks else it will not blink that's how I will gonna demonstrate to you how timer and interrupt works when an interrupt comes interrupt LED blinks it breaks the code wherever it is rest it will not blink so let's get started all right first I show you it's Proteus demonstration here first we draw our circuit go to the devices like the microcontroller you have pick 18 F4 620 is the one I am having here we go we place it here we need four LEDs here we have our four LEDs place it rotate it copy it paste two three and here's our fourth LED we got our four LEDs move them all right here th they are fine okay pin B0 goes to the LED 0 B1 goes to the 1 B2 goes to the B2 goes to the and B3 goes to the LED 3 and now we need to ground the LEDs from the other on the other side use this ground connect all the LEDs to the ground to ground them all right our LEDs are grounded as well now we need a button connected to the D2 here is the D2 pin it's connected to the D2 now use the power we need to give it power on the other side MCLR also requires power to remove this bar so we need to give it power as well so this is our basic circuitry which is completed now let's go to the coding we do our basic codings first without the interrupt function so we know how our normal code works so pick 18 f4620 give it any time timer lm learning microcontroller i'm using a 20 megahertz crystal yes. all right let's do the coding okay we have four buttons attached to the port b so port b is equal to output and we have a button attached to the pin d dot f2 so it's input so it's the input here we go and the next thing is we need to give the initial state initially all the leds must be off that's zero into zero zero and when the button is pressed a one is sent so in case the button is not pressed the initial state must be one oh sorry zero so that's our initial states now let's go for the forever loop while one start coding the forever loop <coughs> port b dot b1 equals to one it turns on then it must then it must turn off after some delay like 500 millisecond delay port b dot b1 equals to zero it turns off 
now the same thing repeats for the rest of the two LEDs so we simply need to copy paste it second LED this is the third LED second LED and then this is the third LED this is B2 this is B3 B1 turns on after 500 millisecond it turns off B2 turns on after 500 millisecond turns off B3 turns on after 500 millisecond turns off and then it keeps on repeating so now to check the loops I think void yes void is missing give the void loop no yes it's there while loop yes it's there so this is our basic code without the timer interrupt let's check it does it work or not all right here we go we are using 20 megahertz crystal we, not 22 it's 20 here we have our timer LM here we go let's check the code click on the run button all right it's working beautifully fine as intended you can see that it's working fine B1 turns on B2 turn on, B3 turn on. this is our interrupt it will only turn on in case the button is pressed right now if I press the button nothing happens we had not initialized the timer at all so let's go for the timer to make your life easy for the purpose of coding the timers go to Google write down micro electronica timer calculator write it down go to the first link that you get micro e shop link this is a free software it will auto generate the timer code that we need click on free download button it will leave, lead you to the libstock library let it open at the libstock library at the libstock library there you got the download 1.79 it's just 1.79 mb tool timer calculator just click on it it will start downloading all right it's downloading let it download all right download is complete go to the folder copy it take it to any other dr drive make a new folder timer calculator name it paste it here extract it install it let's go next 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 here it's install open it all right it's open all right what we need to do here is that you take a look here select the pick 18 we are using pick 18 I have a 20 megahertz crystal so select 20 timer 0 all right what we need uh, we get a delay of like one second so then click on calculate button all right 1000 millisecond it says that there is a difference in actual interrupt time that's 1.4012 it means that that will not matter that will not matter in our case in blinking LEDs so that's a very small difference of 12.8 microseconds which is too small so it means we have successfully generated one second so here the code is generated you just copy the whole code copy it go back now above the void now take a look here you have to go above the void because these are functions and functions have to be placed before our main code all right this is our timer initialization in the timer initialization you can see it has auto generated these values else you have to do your calculations of the pre-scalar sector to get these values to generate a proper time and it also did a good job of initializing that interrupt so the good thing is in the code we don't have to initialize the interrupt interrupt is automatically initialized here so what we do we ha you have to enter your code here we have if port d dot f2 equals one means if the button at the port d is pressed then port b dot b0 equals to one delay ms 500 
and then it turns off that what gonna happen if the interrupt but interrupt button is pressed else it will not blink here we go now our code we have the interrupt as well now the last thing we need to do we have to get this this is our function initialization command as we normally call a function we have to call this once in a code not all the time you have to initialize it here just initialize the timer successfully all right the timer is now initialized build the code go to the proteus it's already selected now run the code see the normally the code is working now I press the interrupt button see what happens see the interrupt button is pressed it had broken the code wherever it was and it had went for the interrupt I leave the button it continues from where it stopped see it will break from whenever I press the button there is no like uh, we are not using any polling method see it breaked it I press it let it go I press it here and it will continue from the same point see it continued from there now I break it when it's on the first LED see I then it went on the interrupt then I leave it it continues from the same that is called an interrupt if an interrupt occurs the pick will leave the rest of the coding and it will go for the interrupt first it will deal with the interrupt code and then it will return to your normal code so guys I believe you guys learned from this code another good thing is that see in the code we had not initialized I had not even written anything called b0 there is no b0 b1 b2 b3 b0 is in the interrupt see b0 is here it is here it is not part of our code it is a part of the interrupt code so whenever an interrupt is called it operates see I press the button wherever it is it will start going for this LED so guys I believe you learned from this video please do ask me in the comment if there is any problem I would love to help you guys so best of luck guys I believe you learned something and uh, have a nice day Bye.